Good morning, family. Good afternoon. Good night or good evening. Amen. Wherever you are in your day. Welcome to my YouTube channel, my um, TikTok, Pinterest, X, and I forget the last one. But anyway, welcome, welcome, welcome. I pray that you had a blessed night's rest or a good day thus far. And um, our reading for today is titled, When Things Don't Go As You Like, and it's from the little book, Jesus Calling. Amen. Let us pray. Abba Father, we just want to say thank you this morning for the <coughs> strength, the encouragement, the blessings, the joy, Lord, that comes from being in communion with you, Lord. Help us, Father, to remember, Lord, Though, to those who are new, to ask you for a song every day, a song to gladden our hearts, Lord, a song to encourage us, a song to strengthen us, Father, whatever the song is. Give us that song, Father, and give us a prayer, Lord, to not only pray over ourselves, but over all that we interact with and all whom we interact with, Father. Lord, by your grace, let us prepare our hearts to be a blessing as well as receive a blessing. Thank you, Abba Father. In Jesus' name, amen. When things don't go as you like, accept the situation immediately. If you indulge in feelings of regret, they can easily spill over the line into resentment. Remember that I am sovereign over your circumstances. Amen. And humble yourselves under my mighty hand. Rejoice in what I am doing in your life. And even though it is beyond your understanding, I am the way, the truth, and the life. Amen. In me, you have everything you need, both for this life and the life yet to come. Don't let the impact of the world shatter your thinking or draw you away from focusing on me. The ultimate challenge is to keep fixing your eyes on me. No matter what is going on around you, when I am central in your thinking, you are able to view circumstances from my perspective. Amen. Amen. Our first scripture lesson is first Peter chapter 5 and verse 6 and that is from the New Testament um, and it reads young men in the same way be submissive to those who are older all of you clothe yourself clothe yourselves with humility toward one another God exposes, God opposes the proud, but gives grace to the humble. Humble yourselves, therefore, under God's mighty hand, that he may lift you up in due time. That's 1 Peter chapter 5, <coughs> and verses 5 and 6. Amen. Then we have John 14, verse 6, also from the New Testament. It says, Jesus answered, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. Amen. Amen. John 14, 6, and that's the New Testament and 1 Peter chapter 5, verses 5 through 6. Amen. So, when things don't go as you would like, we have to turn it loose and give it to the one who is able to keep us in spite of ourselves. And I know that may seem difficult um, at first, but as you practice it, on uh, endeavor to practice it on a regular basis, um, it becomes ingrained and it becomes a part of you. And I say that from personal 
experience personal practice. So today, family, try him. Trust him. If you haven't learned to lean on him and to you haven't fostered that relationship with him and you've been managing all of you by yourself, but not really, you haven't been because we get stuck sometimes. Trust the Lord. And if you don't have that trust, simply ask. Blessings and healing family to all of our land. May the God of the universe, the almighty God, heal our lands. Many things happening and going on with a lot of us, but I thank you, Abba Father, for your strength, for the ability to fix our minds on you and trust you. And ultimately, Lord, to let go of all the things concerning us and allowing you to manage our lives. Lead, guide, and direct us all in Jesus' name. Thank you, Abba Father. Amen. Have a blessed day, everyone. Or good afternoon, good morning, or good evening, wherever you are in your day. Blessing and healing. Thank you for stopping by. And by his grace, I will see you all later. And um, don't forget to ask for your song for today. The one that comes to my mind um, for today is Blessed Assurance, Jesus is Mine. So Blessed Assurance family, amen. This is Miss Norma signing off, and I'll see you on tomorrow. Have a blessed and wonderful day, amen. And remember, the greatest love of all is the love of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. Um, whether you have learned to acknowledge him or not, he still stands as the king in your life. Amen.